one ingredient, vegan yogurt. I'm kind of nervous. Don't settle, guys. Don't settle. Welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another Cook With Me video. If you guys are not familiar with my Cook With Me videos, they're pretty self-explanatory. Basically videos where I cook and you watch and that's it. Usually what I like to do for these videos is I like to try out a recipe that I haven't tried before and this recipe, guys, it caught my eye, okay? So I saw this on my YouTube recommended and I was like, what? I need to try this. Today we're gonna try to make a vegan yogurt, but not just any vegan yogurt a one ingredient vegan yogurt. Yes, you heard me correctly, one ingredient vegan yogurt. I will link the original recipe down below, so check out the original recipe video because I'm just copying that video, okay? So I'm not the original recipe creator. But I had to try this and tell you guys if it works, how it is, how it tastes, because honestly, if this works, I would be so amazed and so happy. The ingredient we are using, guys, is Chickpeas. Yes, chickpeas is the ingredient we are using. Oh my gosh, okay. Another reason why I was really happy with this recipe or I was excited to try this recipe is because chickpeas, high in protein. I was always looking for a vegan yogurt, high in protein that tastes good. If this works, I would be so happy. So today I'm gonna try this out and I'll tell you guys how it is and um, that's it. Okay, so the first step is to soak the chickpeas. So what I did was take some dry chickpeas, I believe this is a cup of dry chickpeas, and then you just soak it in uh, some water. And I did this last night, you're supposed to soak it for at least 12 hours, it's definitely been about 12 hours or longer. So apparently what you wanna do is save some of the chickpea water. So I'm just gonna pour some into a separate little cup. You just need a little bit apparently, so we're just gonna save some of that and let me look at the next step. <laughs> All right guys, so we've drained the water from the chickpeas after saving a bit. I saved more than I thought I need, just in case. Now, apparently, we take, for one cup of chickpeas, this is one cup, believe it or not, it looks like a lot because chickpeas, they expand when you soak them. So this is just one cup of chickpeas. You need four cups of water. So I just got some fresh water here. I dumped the rest of the chickpea water. And then apparently, you just throw the chickpeas into a blender. Don't know how this is gonna work, but uh, that's what we're gonna do. Ooh. Apparently you wanna start with about one cup of water. I don't know if that's about a cup. And then we're gonna blend this. Is this like a blend? Wow, that blended very easily, much more easily than I thought it would. And then you just wanna add more water. A little more water, she said. It smells like beans. A little more water. Blend again. Wow, I'm actually surprised at how easily that blended. So now it's become smooth looking consistency. So then you wanna mix in the rest of the water. No need to blend it more. Oh my God, it's a lot of water. So I'm just gonna get all the little bits out. I don't like to waste anything. Then mix this. There you go. Now we have this weird chickpea water situation. And now apparently you want to drain out the chickpeas. You want to squeeze out that kind of water. So I'm going to take another little bowl and I have this thing right here. Oh god, is this going to work? Maybe I should use a colander first. Uh, where did I put it? First, I'm just gonna drain it with this colander and then I'll go in with the... Ooh, okay. Interesting, very interesting. Okay. So apparently we wanna save the kind of chickpea... I don't know, what do you call this? The chickpea solids. And then I think the liquid becomes the yogurt part draining very slowly. Come on. I really hope this works, guys. And I think you can save this and then make stuff out of it. Don't know what, but I'll make something out of it. I'll make something out of it. <laughs> We're gonna put it into like a cheesecloth situation so that we can squeeze out the rest of the, the water and also save the chickpea goodness for later. 
I don't know why I just smelled that. <laughs> so then, right here, ooh, squeeze that out, guys. We're making chickpea milk, quite literally. Ooh, okay. So I'm gonna squeeze out all that water. This is quite satisfying. Okay, so now I have this uh, chickpea water. What's next? So now the next step, apparently, is to boil it in a pot, the liquid portion, and just kind of mix it well, because like the it likes to settle at the bottom. Don't settle. Don't settle, guys. Don't settle. So basically what you want to do is you want to heat this up and keep stirring so that it doesn't stick to the bottom. And as you can see, it's starting to thick up already. Ooh, very exciting. I think you're supposed to remove some of the, I don't know what you're supposed to remove because it's looking pretty nice and smooth, just a little bit bubbly, but am I supposed to remove the bubbles? I, is that is that necessary? I, I don't know. Ah! But yeah, you just want to keep stirring and apparently it becomes thick like custard. And then that's when you turn off the heat. This is, ooh guys, look, it's, it's getting thick. What is happening? My friends, it's getting thick and it's looking smooth. It's starting to look kind of yogurty. I'm so excited. I'm actually amazed. So I think it's become thick enough. So I've turned down the heat and apparently after you turn down the heat, you still want to keep stirring so that it doesn't stick to the bottom. So you want to cool it down and as you cool it down, you just want to keep stirring it. So I'm going to keep doing that and then I will check up with you once it's cooled down a little bit. I ended up taking this outside because it was taking a long time to cool down. It's still pretty warm, but you want to be able to touch it without burning your finger. So that's what it's that's what it's at right now. So we're going to transfer this into wherever you want to like ferment it. You don't want to use a metal, um, anything metal. So I'm using this like stone pot thing. So we're just going to transfer it. Ooh, I mean, look at that though. It looks super yogurty and creamy, doesn't it? I'm very excited. So we're transferring this. Ooh, ooh. Again, don't want to waste any of it. So make sure you scrape it. Okay, so now you want to add the starter liquid, which is basically some of that chickpea water that we uh, separated earlier. So I don't think we need to add all of this. I think we're just going to add about two tablespoons worth. Mix this. We have this lovely mixture. So now the, uh, this is done, I think. You just have to cover it with a loose lid and then let it sit. I think I can just let it sit overnight or maybe about 12 hours, I think she said. And then it'll be good to go. So I'll see you guys in about 12 hours the next day and then I'll keep you guys posted on how this is. So I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> the next day. Hello friends. It is the next day and my hair is a mess, but deal with it. <laughs> Ooh, guys, we have here potentially the yogurt. I have not looked at it yet. So we're gonna experience this together. So here we go. We're gonna open this up. Okay, let's open it up. I'm gonna smell it. Let me smell it. Ooh, it definitely has a yogurty smell. There's a little bit of like liquid on top. I think that's normal. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Wow. Oh my God, it's actually super thick. <gasps> it's very like custardy, pudding-like. I'm kind of nervous. Okay, let me try this. <laughs> it tastes, it definitely has that slight yogurty fermented taste, like a little bit sour. It's a little weird though. It kind of tastes like tofu. Like you could, I feel like you could use this for, I don't know. You can't eat this on its own. I'm sorry, this is not, I think you'd have to sweeten it for sure. Like you'd have to sweeten it. It's not completely disgusting, so that's good. It definitely has a little bit of a yogurt taste, but it's not, <sighs> okay, 
I don't like it on its own. The consistency is like, it's kind of like yogurt, but you can, you can kind of feel like it's a little bit grainy. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. If I sweeten it and if I put other things in it, like I mix it with um, protein powder or something, like I normally do, it might be okay. But on its own, I'm not a fan. But it does kind of turn into yogurt and it's probably very healthy because it's literally just chickpeas. Yes? Yeah, uh, sorry that was underwhelming. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how to describe this taste. It doesn't really taste like chickpeas, so that's good. And it's probably the cheapest vegan yogurt that you could make. So there you have it. One ingredient, vegan yogurt. Uh, <laughs> I will try to make it into something enjoyable and then I'll let you guys know if it works out. So there was my cook with me video making one ingredient vegan yogurt. I really hope you guys enjoyed this experience with me. Uh, once again, the original video will be linked down below if you guys are interested in trying to make this yourself. Let me know if you guys have tried this yourself and if you enjoyed it or if you didn't enjoy it. I think this could be good if you wanna add it into smoothies and something else. I don't think it's good on its own personally. So yeah, I will keep you guys posted on if I enjoy it with other things. I do think I did it correctly, so that's good, okay? That's all I really wanted in life is to do this correctly. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And once again, the original recipe video will be linked down below in the description box, so check that out if you guys wanna try this yourself. If there's anything else you want me to try, some kind of crazy vegan recipe you want me to try, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye!